Good morning, today's lesson is 2.10. Today we're gonna to multiply two digit numbers with regrouping. Our essential question, how can you use regrouping to multiply a two digit number by a one digit number? Let's unlock the problem. A thoroughbred racehorse can run at speeds of up to 60 feet per second. During practice, Cecilia's horse runs at a speed of 36 feet per second. How far does her horse run in three seconds? First, let's underline the important information. Well, we need to know that the horse runs at a speed of 36 feet per second, and we need to know how, because ultimately we're trying to find out how far her horse runs in three seconds. Then it says, is there any information that you will not use and cross out that information? Well, I really don't need to know that a horse can run at a speed of 60 feet per second. I just need to know how much her horse runs in order to find out how much it can run in three seconds. So I'm actually going to cross this out because I don't need that information. So next, so my problem is 36 times 3. And if I'm going to estimate that, 36 is close to 40. And 3 times 4 is 12. And then I have my 0 because it's 3 times 4 tens, which is 120. So I know that my, my answer for 3 times 36 should be close to 120. So step one, we are going to model. So we're thinking about this. We have 3 tens, and then we have 3 tens times 36. So I'm doing 3 times 36. So if I look here, I've got 10, 20, 30, 1, two, three, four, five, six. And since I'm doing it times three, that means I need to have three of those. So here's another 36, and here's another 36, right? Well, I can regroup, and so as you see here, they've regrouped 10 of these, and they've moved it over and added a 10. So when I'm multiplying it, I'm basically saying three times six is 18, so I've got the 1 here plus these, right, to make my 18. So I'm going to put my 110 that I regrouped here and my 8 down here. Now step 2 is now I'm going to multiply the 3 times the, the 30, 3 times 30, right? And 3 times the 30 is 9, plus I have my 1 that I regrouped, so I'm going to get 10, so it's going to be 108. So you can see here where they regrouped it, right? And they put it over here. Okay, so Cecilia's racehorse runs 108 feet in three seconds. Since 108 is close to our estimate of 120, we know that the amount is reasonable. Okay, because they're regrouping here, it kind of makes the model look funny. So I'm just going to do yellow on here. But this is 8 times 22. So that means I need to have 8 22s, right? So this is 10, 20, 1, 2. 10, 20, 1, 2. And I need eight of those. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So do you see I have eight? And in each of my eights, I have 22. So if you're multiplying the ones, eight times two ones, I'm going to get 16 ones. I can take 10 of these and I can regroup and add another 10 to the pile, right? Leaving me with the six left over. So when I'm doing that, I'm gonna put my one that I regrouped, so this is the one I regrouped on the top, my 10, and then I'm gonna put these six that are left over down here, so that's my 16. Because eight times two is 16. I regrouped the 10 and I put my six down here. Now with step two, I've got 8 times 2, which is 16, right? And I'm going to have to add that. So I have 16. And now I'm going to add the 110 that I regrouped, and I'm going to get 17 tens. So my answer is going to be, so there's my 17 tens plus my 6 ones that I had from before. So 8 times 22 is 176. And since 176 is close to the estimate, that we had of 160, it's reasonable. And actually, looking back, I'm not sure that I actually did the estimate, which was 8 times 20. I'll just do it really fast. 8 times 2 is 16, um, or 8 times 
20s is 160 because there's my extra zero right there, right? If I'm just doing my mental math. Okay, so we can estimate this one is 7 times 68. Well, 68 is close to 70 because I like to work in tens, right? 7 times 7 is 49, and then I have my zero, so I have 490 is my estimate. So if we're using partial product, that would be um, 7 times, we could do 7 times the 60. So we could do our 60 times 7, and then we could do our 8 times 7. So we could do our partial product, right? So 60 times 7 is 420, and 8 times 7 is 56. So we'd have 420 plus 56, and that would give us 6, 7, would give us 476. Now, to do regrouping, because you can use partial products like we've been doing in the past, or we can use regrouping. So I have 8 times 7, which is 56. So I'm going to regroup my 5 tens, and I'm going to put my 6 ones down here, so I have 56. Now I have 7 times 6, and 7 times 6 is um, 42. And 42 plus my 5 tens that I had, 42 is 47. So my answer is 476. So regrouping a little quicker, and I know that this is the way that parents feel comfortable about. So if you are not feeling comfortable about using regrouping, I guarantee that your um, adult at home is definitely familiar with that way and would love to help you with that way. Let's move on. Let's identify relationships. So let's look at the partial products and the regrouping methods above. How are the partial products 420 and 56 related to 476? Well, the sum of 420 and 56 is 476. So by taking the two partial products and adding them together, we get the actual answer or the final product. All right, on the next one, I'm going to use the model, and I'm going to find the product of 2 times 36. So that means I'm going to have two sets of 36. So let's make sure we've got it. 10, 20, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that's 36, and it looks like I have two sets of that, right? So I should be able to regroup because I've got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So it looks like I can regroup one 10, and I'll have two left over. So when I do this, I'm going to have 36 times 2. 2 times 6 is 12. So there's my 1 that I'm regrouping. And then I have 2 times 3 is 6, plus my 110 that I regrouped. So it's going to be 7. So 2 times 36 is 72. So we're going to go ahead and um, I'm not going to estimate on these. I want us to just solve the problems. So I've got 4 times 2 is 8, and 4 times 4 is 16. That one didn't require any regrouping. Let's see if the next one does. 2 times 2 is 4, and 2 times 3 is 6. Over here, I've got 5. Again, no regrouping. 5 times 1 is 5, and then I do 5 times 8 is 40. So far, no regrouping. Let's see if I've got to regroup on this one. 7 times 3, ah, we're going to have to regroup, is 21. So my two tens are going to go here, and my 1, 1 is going to go there. Then I have 7 times 6 which is 42, plus my 2 that I regrouped. So I'm going to have 44, so it's going to be 441. And on this one, it has a dollar sign, so make sure you do your dollar sign. Okay, again, I'm not going to actually take the time to estimate right now because I just really want us to get to the problems. So I'm hoping we see this. First, we're going to do 2 times 3, which is 6. Then I'm going to do 2 times 3, which is, again, 6. So no regrouping needed. Next, I'm doing 3 times 5, which is 15. So I am going to regroup my 10. So my 1 10 goes here, and my 5 goes here. Then I'm going to do 2 times 3, which is 6, plus my 1 that I regrouped is going to make it 7. Now I've got 8 times 6, which is 48. I have to regroup my 4 10s. Put my 8, my eight ones down there. Then I have 8 times 3, which is 24, plus my four ones, so I've got 28. Okay, next I've got 5 times 9, which is 20, so I'm going to regroup my two tens and put my zero ones down there. Then I have 5 times 9, which is 45, plus my two ones, 47. 
okay? I'm um, going to ask that, maybe I'll do a couple of these. So I'm going to rewrite them. So I've got 82 times 3. So again, I've got 3 times 2, which is 6. I don't need to regroup. And then I have 3 times 8, which is 24. Okay? I'm going to do, that was for this problem right here. Okay, I'm going to do this one right here. So I have 68 times 9. So I've got 9 times 8, which is 72. So I'm going to regroup my 7 ones, or my 7 tens, put my 2 ones down here. And now I have 9 times 6, which is 54, plus my 7. So if you can't do that in your head, I've got my 54, plus I've got to add my 7. 7 and 4 is 11. And then I've got 6, so it's going to be 61. So the answer to that one is 612. Okay, I'm going to, and actually on this one, it's dollar signs. Make sure you do your dollar signs. I'm going to actually have you do problems 11, 12, 13, 14, 19, 17, 16, and 15 on your own or with a partner. And I'm going to be on the carpet if you need me. And then I'm going to have you do Think Central, and we're going to move on from there. So again, I'm on the carpet if you need me. All right, good luck.